Kenya's lengthy and expensive diplomatic efforts to have the ICC cases deferred have now officially gone down the drain. The bid to have the United Nations Security Council prevail in the International Criminal Court to defer cases for one year has flopped. This after months of shuttle diplomacy that culminated in President Kibaki's special envoys scheduling meetings with the five permanent UN Security Council members with veto powers to persuade the council to slot the matter on its agenda. Despite remarks that clearly pointed towards a negative outcome, the Vice President Kalonzo Musioka-led mission continued. I think we've made our position very clear as the British government, which is that we don't think that action by the Security Council to defer the Kenya cases at the ICC uh, is appropriate in this case, uh, because the, the Security Council is there to step in in exceptional cases as a threat to international peace. Ten have confirmed. They confirmed to us that they will support. The others were open. They said we won't discuss it. It's, a, it's such a critical issue that um, the world cannot ignore it. Indeed, yesterday the UN Security Council honored Kenya's request to have the matter formally discussed was not pleasant for those who have been championing for a deferral. I knew that America did not want to support us in this matter, well, but all we wanted from America was abstention. After the meeting, Ambassador Nesta Osorio of Colombia, who is serving as council president for April, is quoted as having said that after full consideration, the members of the Security Council did not agree on the matter, end of quote. He added that the matter therefore stood rejected for the time being. Kenya's UN Ambassador Masharia Kamau, however, took solace from the council not having explicitly rejected Kenya's request. He is quoted as having said, Friday's standoff does not mean it's finished, unquote. <laughs> Apparently, the members felt that a local trial for the six could trigger fresh violence. <laughs> Speaking in Mutomo, Kitui County today, the vice president gave his reaction to the blow dealt to his mission. It does not mean this, is less, uh, this, this country has become less than what it is. It is just like going to the high court, una, una protest a case, ama una shinda, life goes on. But here we have this other approach. By September, I think we will have put in place a very credible mechanism. This development comes as the six suspects depart from The Hague, where they were asked to return in September this year for confirmation hearing of the charges ICC prosecutor Luis Moreno Acampo has leveled against them. The UN Security Council's decision comes as no surprise as some of its members, particularly those with veto powers, had noted that the Kenya government should have made that request to the ICC itself. Sylvia Chabit, Citizen Weekend, Nairobi.